Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Liza. Welcome back to my channel and today we're doing a new weekly reading vlog. So it's currently Monday right now and it's about 11 p.m. at night and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a reading update. I am continuing reading Everything is an Emergency and I have a little bit left in it, not much. But I'm still really enjoying reading it. It's been a very accurate book as far as depicting how OCD manifests itself and how your anxiety has the potential to control your life. So I've really been enjoying it and I've really been liking it. I like how the author explains in his memoir that the mental illness doesn't just affect you and take over you. It also affects your relationships with your family and your friends and he talks about how it ends up not only affecting him but like he has this girlfriend and it ends up affecting his girlfriend so he really does his best to cover all of his bases and stay true to his own story on how his mental illness affects his life and I can definitely appreciate that with it being a memoir. You know, he really doesn't pull any punches as far as making his symptoms comfortable for the audience. He talks about the way that his OCD manifests itself in a very real way. And he does it in such a way that he's not going to turn off the audience. So I've really been liking it. I like the way that he's depicted it and his art style and all the work that he's put into this book. And I'm excited to be able to finish it off soon. I'm also still working on Snowflower and the Secret Fan, which me and my friend are going to talk about this tomorrow. So I wanted to read some more of it tonight to try and play catch up with her. I don't know when our call is going to be actually, but I need to get reading on it anyway, so I think she's I think she's about three chapters ahead at this point and so I have to play some catch up and I think that that's going to be the thing that I choose to read tonight and focus my energy on. But other than that, everything's been good. I have the day off. I have the next week off, which is really nice because I covered for somebody who was sick. And so then my hours ended up going down a little bit. And then on top of that, I'm going to North Carolina this week as well. So it's going to end up being a really busy week, but I'm excited to vlog it and share with you guys everything that happens. So I'm gonna get reading Snowflower and the Secret Fan and I'll update you guys in the morning. Mako. Mako, what are you doing? Hey guys, so it is currently September 30th right now and I wanted to give you guys an update. I'm about to take a taxi to the airport at about 2.15 and it's currently about 2 o'clock. And my flight, I believe, comes in at like 6.30 or so, and it takes off at 5. So I have a little bit of time, so I wanted to update you guys. I have finished a chapter in Snowflower and the Secret Fan, and it's getting really good. Lily and Snowflower's relationship right now is... I wouldn't say strained, but they're not necessarily in this good place like they were when they were kids and if you read the book you know you'll know what I'm talking about I just I don't want to give away any spoilers or anything because the book is really good but I plan to read a little bit more at the airport so that I can catch up with my friend Fee she's on page 185 right now and I'm still at like 125 so I have like two hours worth of reading in order to catch up with her. My game plan also for the airport is I'm going to study some Spanish and then I also plan on bringing everything as an emergency and finishing that off before the month ends. And so 
I, I don't have a lot of everything is an emergency left. I only have like 40 pages or so. So that should be easy for me to finish and put into my wrap up. In other news, I'm also planning on joining Spoopathon, which I'm really excited about. I have the little map down in my reading journal right now, and I spent a lot of time doing it yesterday and planning my TBR. So you guys should be seeing a TBR video of that pretty soon. Um, most likely I'll film it in North Carolina, but we'll just have to see. Um, but anyway, other than that, I am going to pack a little bit more and I'll see you guys once I land. We are currently watching crime documentaries. Hey guys, so it is currently Saturday right now and I wanted to give you guys an update. I flew in on, I think it was Thursday night and I hung out with my mom and we watched some shows and then I went to bed. And then the next day after that, we just kind of hung out around the house. Our internet went out, which was really kind of sucky, but we finally got it fixed. So that was a big excursion that happened yesterday. And then I just woke up today and I'm gonna get ready for our barn wedding for my cousin. So that's the game plan for right now. It's currently about 9.30 and the wedding is at two. So it should be a lot of fun. The theme is that it's gonna be in a barn and so everybody's wearing cowboy boots and my aunt gave me some cowboy boots that I'm really excited to wear. So that should be pretty good. It goes with my dress pretty well. So I'll show you guys the whole outfit once I get ready and everything. But as far as reading goes, I finished Everything is an Emergency on the plane and I gave it four out of five stars. I'm kind of shocked that I was able to read because there was a kid next to me who was about two and he and his dad kept making some noise, but I was able to tune it out and I just plowed through the rest of the book. It was only like 40 pages left, so it wasn't too bad. And my attention wasn't super distracted, mainly because it was a graphic novel so it worked out really well for me in the end. I finished it right as the plane was landing and I really ended up enjoying it. I would highly recommend it for people that have a loved one with OCD because it explains the disease in a way that makes a lot of sense for somebody who doesn't experience it. But I'll go more into detail on my wrap up when I do a wrap up for August and September. So. I'll just talk to you guys more a little bit about that once that video comes out. But I'm going to go and get ready and I'll show you guys the outfit and I'll hopefully get some footage at the wedding. I got my makeup done and I got my dress on and everything's looking pretty good. I ate a can of tuna just now because I don't know what the situation is going to be for food at the wedding. They're supposed to be catering... Um, What's it called? They're supposed to be catering Chick-fil-A, but I don't think that there's gonna be any food there by the time that we get there. So I wanted to eat beforehand just in case to get some protein in my system so that I'm not hangry at the wedding. So pretty much at this point, all I have to do is get on my boots, which I'll show you guys once I get downstairs and finish up my coffee and I should be out the door. They're really cute. I'm gonna bring them home to Florida. Hey guys, so it is currently Sunday right now and I wanted to give you guys an update. I am currently doing my Spanish right now and I'm writing my dad a birthday card but I wanted to talk a little bit about the wedding because the wedding was a lot of fun. I think that we all weren't really quite sure what to expect with it. And we went in there with an open mind and it was just, it was great. It was so much fun. Um, I'll put some footage in for the vlog, but they had horses and 
like the wedding was just beautiful and they had this big like overarching piece for the bride and groom for their vows and it was just great like there wasn't any rain or anything so it was kind of like this indoor outdoor wedding because it was still in the barn but they really cleaned it up good and it ended up going really well um, the bride and groom ended up driving off in a truck with the little cans at the end and that was really cute and I think that they're doing their honeymoon in Tennessee if I I think that that's right but it was just a lot of fun I had a lot of fun I went over to see my cousin afterwards and we watched a movie and we hung out and I got to see her dogs and her cats and it was it was great so I had a lot of fun I had probably like 12 hours straight of interaction with people so I came home and I just straight up crashed I was so tired and so now it's about 12 o'clock right now and I'm drinking coffee and I'm doing my Spanish so I might go downstairs and hang out with my mom some and if I watch any documentaries or anything, I'll let you guys know. Right now we're on the Billy Morgan uh, Man with 24 Faces. And it's on Netflix. It's really good. We're on episode 3 right now. And we want to finish that off. And then I want to get my mom watching Midnight Mass. Because Brayden and I only have one episode left of that. And my cousin, who I visited yesterday, she's watched all of it, and she thinks it's really good. So we're trying to get my mom to watch it. And, you know, it, it's a scary series. Like, it's very intense, and there's some jump scares in it, and it's just very eerie and creepy. It's from the guy that directed The Haunting of Bly Manor and The Haunting of Hill House, and she really liked The Haunting of Hill House, so I think she's gonna like Midnight Mass. But anyway, I'll let you guys know how it goes, and I'll see you in a minute. All right, so here's what I am practicing currently on Spanish. I'm just writing down the different verbs, and then like, I wrote down how to conjugate Sarah and a star. And, I mean, this thing is, like, totally empty, so I'll be able to fill this with notes pretty easily. But I want to put, like, a lot of my Duolingo sentences in here, too, because I've been watching other study vlogs. And that's what people are doing, is they just write out sentences. And one of the things that I like to do when I study is I'll write out sentences the way that I think that they're supposed to sound. And then I'll go back over the internet and I'll see if my grammar is right and if I did the words in the sentence correctly. But I haven't gotten to that point yet. I'm just kind of focusing on the things that I know and I'm making sure that I can study the correct conjugations and the correct verbs before I go on and start uh, constructing sentences in depth um and practicing that hey guys so it is currently monday the fourth i believe right now and i'm about to go out to lunch with my cousin and her sister and i'm super excited about it i don't know where we're going to be going but she just called me and told me that she's on her way right now i wanted to film my October TBR for the Spoopathon, but I don't think that I'm going to have enough time. I even have like my TBR all sorted out and the map and everything. So I'll just have to go through and do it when I get home. So it'll be a little bit late, but I figure that that's okay. Outside of that, my flight leaves at, I think, 6.40 p.m. and I'm gonna be landing at 9 40 so my husband's gonna pick me up and so I figure it's gonna be a long day of a lot of activities but other than that that's pretty much all that's happening I guess I'll give you guys a sneak peek of part of my TBR because I want to start it on the plane 
and that's Cheshire Crossing. This is going to go with the prompt for a book that's been gifted to you because I decided to go with the Team Ghostbusters. So this is going to be the first thing that I finish and then I'll move on to the other prompts after I finish this one. But I'm super excited about this because Sarah Anderson did the art for this. I've never written anything by Andy Weir, but I think that it'll probably be pretty good. We'll see. It also fits into like the whole Halloween spirit thing because it's about three witches and it's very supernatural. So I think that it'll end up being good. But aside from that, I'm going to end up going to lunch and I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so it has been a few days since I landed back in Florida and I wanted to give you guys an update. I actually ended up not doing any reading on the plane because I had to remake some flashcards for work that I was working on and I realized that I totally lost all of them in my mom's house. So I think I left them in my bedroom and I was working on remaking them. So I spent the whole hour and a half plane flight doing that. Brayden and I finally finished Midnight Mass, which is really good, and we really enjoyed it. We really hope that the guy that wrote it comes out with more stuff. I remember we absolutely loved The Haunting of Hill House, and we thought that The Haunting of Bly Manor was pretty good, and we really thought that Midnight Mass was really well done. So we're just hoping that this guy keeps writing more stuff, and we'll continue watching it. So that's the update for that. I actually went through the airport and they had a cute little bookshop which I tried putting a clip in before and it took so much effort for me not to go and pick some stuff up. I really wanted to get Mexican Gothic because I feel like that's a really good book that everybody's been reading and I wanted to get like a few more things. I looked at if they had Dune and then I realized that we have it here. So I finally found somebody to buddy read Dune with and it's actually my cousin and I'm really excited to get that started. But I think that I'll end up starting that on the next vlog. But anyway, that's all for updates. I'm about to go to work and I'm gonna end this vlog here and I'll see you guys later. Bye.